Hello everybody, this is Mohamed Wadi. I will present our paper called Sensitivity Reliability Analysis of Power Distribution Networks Using Fuzzy Logic. This presentation will contain abstract introduction and we will talk about reliability indices, reliability assessment of power systems. Uh, and after that, we will talk about sensitivity analysis, result and discussion, conclusion, and final question and answers. This paper proposes a combined method utilizing both the reliability block diagram analytical technique and Monte Carlo simulation method to estimate the reliability of our systems. Since the reliability of collected data is associated with noise and error data, performing sensitivity analysis is indispensable. Sensitivity analysis utilizing fuzzy logic to specify the uncertainties and their effects on the reliability calculations. The proposed method is applied to bus system two to confirm the applicability of the proposed method. The power system can be divided into three major areas of operation, generation, transmission, and distribution. The primary duty of the distribution is to deliver electricity to the customer as reliable and cost-effective as possible. However, it has been found that more than 80 to 90 of failures occur in the distribution part of the system. This pushed to improve the quality of the overall power system and particularly the distribution system. The quality of any system can be divided into two levels, power quality and power reliability. Power reliability associated with availability, interruption, and uh, interruption duration, and other issues. However, power equality uh, associated with the noise, the flicker, harmonic, transient, and other issues. So reliability indicates the capability of a system to achieve the role it is planned for, considering all the operational constraints undergone through its expected lifetime. Improving reliability can be accomplished by reducing one or both factors. The first one, frequency of interruption. The second factor, outage time of our system. There are two types of reliability evaluation. The first one, historical, and the second one, predictive evaluation. The historical reliability mainly depends on the historical data collection, analyzing the cause and the duration of system components, failures, and system outages, and then calculating the reliability indices. However, predictive reliability evaluation combines between historical interruption data and mathematical models to approximate the system's reliability. There are many uh, papers or pu publishments uh, in the literature that uh, uh, deal with reliability of power systems. Here, some of these uh, papers. Uh, in the reference for this approach is developed to evaluate the radial system reliability by integrating two techniques, failure mode and effect analysis, with analytical reliability block diagram technique, the developed approach for more simplicity than Markov and faulty tree analysis. Also, in reference six, a practical approach to evaluating the reliability of a closed loop power distribution networks, utilizing the combination of total loss of continuity and Monte Carlo simulation techniques. In reference eight, analytical method that consider the stochastic load points, interruption duration, and network reconfigurations to evaluate the reliability complex grids as presented. Bus 2 and Bus 4 are used to conduct this uh, analysis by using the silent simulation software. In order to calculate the reliability indices, we have to calculate 
uh, at first load point indices, which called failure rate repair and repair time rate and annual failure duration. In the second phase, we can calculate time to failure and time to repair. Finally, we can come computed or calculated the reliability indices of all of the system. Here we have the formulas for load point uh, indices, and here we have time to failure and time to repair formulas, and here we have some of the widely used uh, reliability indices. In this paper, we used two techniques in order to assist uh, in order to assist the reliability of our system by using block diagram technique and a Monte Carlo simulation system. Monte Carlo, uh, the block diagram technique, uh, calculate the reliability of the system by considering the system as component in parallel and series. For parallel components, we use the following formula and for uh, parallel, uh, sorry, for series uh, blocks, we use this one, this formula, and for parallel one, we use the following formula. Monte Carlo, can, you, can be used, Monte Carlo simulation method can be used uh, to uh, calculate the reliability in this is of any system by giving the uh, failure rate and repairing rate for each component of the system. Many other methods have appeared in the literature to assess the reliability of our systems. However, Monte Carlo simulation consider the widely used one because the main advantage of Monte Carlo simulation is that can simulate the random behavior of the components. In order to calculate the reliability, and this is by, uh, by using Monte Carlo simulation, we have to take a look on the flow chart of Monte Carlo simulation for reliability estimation as here by using uh, applying uh, this flow chart on uh, bus to system, we can calculate the reliability uh, of our system. Here we have a very important analysis called sensitivity analysis. Since we know that the reliability evaluations commonly depend on historically recorded data collected by the site worker, and simulation or statistical analysis that in most cases leads to an inaccurate assessment of reliability because of shortage or inaccuracy of the collected data. So sensitivity analysis is required to solve this problem. The sensitivity analysis offers a tool for investigating and verifying the obtained result by considering all uncertainties combined with the reliability data to get accurate results. So in this paper, we use the fuzzy logic because it is an effective technique to treat the uncertainty associated with collected data for reliability analysis. And here in this study, fuzzy logic to characterize the uncertainties, uncertainties associated with Reliability data is used only for lines and transformers. Uh, and here, here we have four fuzzy membership functions for the line and for, for the transformer and two fuzzy output for each component. The left part of uh, the slides are the membership functions of the line. And uh, on the right uh, side of the page, we have fuzzy membership functions of the transformer. The presented combined 
uh, reliability block diagram and Monte Carlo approach is tested on bus two to verify the accuracy. And this bus is also solved by hand by uh, 13 uh, reference, also uh, solved by Dick Silent uh, in uh, 11 reference. The system is here, bus uh, two system. And here, table one provides us with the result for the three methods, two methods from literature and the proposed method here by comparing the values, for example, SAIFI uh, for uh, the other studies and our study. So we can find there's a matching in uh, results. So this uh, proves the suitability of the proposed reliability estimation and uh, prove the uh, rightness of the proposed method. Now we would like to see the results when using uh, sensitivity analysis. So in order to calculate uh, the indices, uh, by considering the uncertainties of the data, we will consider reference case, uh, the age risk weather uh, of the line, also the age risk and maintenance of the transform. So we have here 10 cases. The first case is the reference case and the other cases to improve some of these parameters. For example, here, if we improve the age of the line, what about the reliability of the system? Here as a sample, uh, we, we will see the enhancement in uh, system average interruption frequency index. So for example, in case 9 and 10, we have about 30 and 38 percentage enhancement in the value of SIAFI, system average interruption frequency index. Also, if we note the energy not supply, we will see a lot of enhancement. Uh, the biggest uh, enhancement will be at uh, six, seven, eight, and 19 cases. So uh, sensitivity analysis gave the a true picture of reliability of the system. As a conclusion, this study integrates the uh, reliability uh, block diagram and Monte Carlo simulation techniques to estimate the reliability of our systems. We used bus two in order to uh, prove and verify the uh, rightness of the suggested method. Uh, also, we use fuzzy logic to uh, uh, perform the sensitivity analysis. And uh, we have, by doing the sensitivity analysis, a lot of enhancement in all the indices of the reliability uh, of the system. Finally, the obtained result have verified the sensitivity uh, analysis importance in drawing an accurate picture of the reliability evaluation and a vital tool for distribution or utilities to identify the most susceptible parameters that seriously affect the system complete reliability. Thank you for listening.